Let's go back out to James now live at Feeding Tampa Bay. Good morning, James. Good morning, Dia. Yes, I am live here. There's hustling and bustling happening. A lot of hard work being done. And joining me now is CEO and President of Feeding Tampa Bay, Thomas Mance. Thanks for making a little bit of time for us. Uh, thanks to all you viewers out there. We yeah. were able to donate $10,000 to Feeding Tampa Bay earlier this morning. Quite a surprise and what a wonderful gift. Again, we can't thank all of you out there yeah. enough for making time to make a donation. We know you're going to put it to great use. It's staggering yeah. how you've amped up your production levels since the storm because Southwest Florida is in your crosshairs, I know, yeah. but you're still serving the Tampa Bay area. Let's not forget that. We are. As you and I sit here right now, we look out that door. There are six or eight tractor trailers stacked up, ready to be unloaded, and several more to go out. Whenever a disaster hits, we start preparing beforehand, but most importantly, we're ready to respond right after. So whether it's our own neighbors to the south of us and communities that were hit, or just as importantly, the folks who are devastated down in uh, Lee County, no doubt. we're here to make sure to help. And you were telling me a little bit earlier just how much you were able to crank up your right. uh, donations. Right. I mean, you already right. serve a million meals. A million and a half meals every week already. Every single week. Right. Right. So right. just in the first few days after the hurricane, we've added another 700,000 meals, right? So uh, uh, almost 100% increase in our, our food output. Uh, uh, and so, you know, it's important. I think we're built for this. Uh, we're prepared for this. But most importantly, I think what we see, and you mentioned this a moment ago with your viewers, is the community coming together. Uh, because all of what we do, whether it's food donated to us, volunteers that come to support us, it's a community effort. Viewers like yours that come support us financially, all of that we do because of the efforts of those around us. What is one thing that the last couple of days uh, has taught you about your organization? What's one thing that you have looked out here and maybe learned or thought about that you hadn't thought yeah. about before. Yeah, I think if I, you know, the first word that comes to mind is resilience. Right. Right. We're a group that kind of can stand in and do what's necessary to be done. Most of us last week, all the people you see here today, we were out serving meals in the community. We weren't doing our regular jobs. We're good at showing up and stepping in, just as the other organizations you're highlighting today are too. You know, I'm proud of Feeding Tampa Bay, but I'm also a proud of our our peer group here in Tampa Bay that also does great work. It's kind of amazing how you guys get tested. Sean's at Habitat for Humanity. They get tested and you, yep. and you stand up to it. You do and you develop kind of this group of people in a community that says we're going to lift and lead. Right. And we're proud of that opportunity and responsibility. And I think all of us, I know Mike does, I do, all the other charities you're talking to, we feel that that's a, as we said, a responsibility and an opportunity. Thomas Mance, thanks so much for joining me out here. You know, there's just no better way, Dia, to cap off what has been a heartbreaking uh, couple of days here after the storm with what we've been able to do, what our viewers have been able to do to uplift here this morning. It's been a really special morning here on the show. Absolutely, James. Our hearts are so full. We are so grateful to our viewers uh, for donating. I tell you, none of this would be possible without you. And we know now that all of this money that you donate will stay right here to help our communities in Southwest Florida that have been so uh, hurt and, and hit hard by this storm. So again, we thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. You can still give, you know, all through the mm -hmm. weekend, abcactionnews.com slash gives. I tell oh, you, that's why they call us Champ. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're champions at everything, including giving. And you'll probably uh, continue to give right into next week and the weeks to come as uh, the support there will only continue.